Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Dynamo, my friends. So I recently came across a problem that I've known about for a very long time, but I only today discovered a fix. Um, so if if you're here, chances are you like making databases. I That's like my favorite thing to do in this game. I love databasing. Um, and in terms of the element of realism associated with creating databases, a lot of people download like lo logo packs, uh, kit faces, kit faces, kits and face packs, uh, club logos, all these different things just to help the immersion. When you're making a database from scratch, often you have to do this process yourself. I love doing this. Like one of the databases that I've been working on for about three years is the Ireland Reimagined series, where I basically take the Irish League of Ireland, kick it out the window, and basically reconstruct the entire process using the 32 county system so that I have something a bit more kind of like I guess regional and based on a more Irish way of having a competitive sporting environment because we love our clubs so we love our counties we, we love that county system broken into its, its parishes and dioceses, uh, dioceses so I made Ireland reimagined and I set everything up using the unique IDs that were present at the time. But one thing Football Manager likes to do is SI will release database updates. And one of those, sometimes those updates, they will create clubs that will use some of those unique IDs. And what that ends up doing is whatever you've made, it just kind of like kicks them down the line. So the unique ID will end up being like a couple hundred bigger than where it was. Like the example I'll use is like if we'll open up, we'll open up the editor here now and you'll notice here that everything has a unique ID. Basically, the way the database works is that there is an entry number one and that is, I think it's like Barnet or Arsenal or something. And every single entity above that will just have a sequential plus one after that. So if they introduce extra clubs, that can sometimes knock yours back, which is what's happened here. If we open up the kits that I had designed, um, well, they're gone, but <laughs> if you open up the away kits anyway. Um, oh, wait, Jesus, sorry, hold on. Kits, home. I forgot to do this before I actually went live. Um, I say live, Jesus. Bring home over here. There we go, perfect. So you'll notice here where if I go over here, so you have Antrim and home. So Antrim ends in 421, but Antrim over here ends in 178. So I have to rename every single one of these files with the corresponding name and the unique ID and then I have to go into the config edit it and then edit each of these names with that corresponding update that can take a long time because you have to do it for the home the away you have to do it for the logos the icon and the actual logo section so you have to, you have to essentially do this like six times that can take about an hour and a half sometimes so I thought to myself how about I just ask chat GPT to write a Python script to do it for me and um it worked <laughs> so basically i just said hi can you create a python script that will change the name files for me please and it was like yeah no bother just give me the details so i said there are 32 png files with the names listed as original names and i want to change them to the list and change names and the directory of the files will be called directory now for the original names take the files you have here's your first one here's your last one look at the names Original names, a list of numbers from that name to that name inclusive. The reason I put an inclusive is just to make sure that it doesn't like not include the last one. And then your change names, you just need two numbers. Take this one at the very top, take that unique ID and then go all the way to the bottom, take that unique ID. So now we have what the name of the files are and what we want to change them to. And your directory will just be open up where you want your files to go. Click this bar at the very top, right click, copy, paste. There you go, and then click Generate, and it'll produce your Python script for you. So we're going to copy here. Now, I've obviously, I've already ran it over here, but just copy and paste, file, save as. And I'm going to deliberately take it to your desktop at the bottom here. Oh, I've opened up a notepad, by the way, just that's important if you want to follow along. When you're saving it, at the bottom where it says text documents, all files, codes.py has to be .py because that's a Python a script extension. Replace it, yeah, that's fine. So now we're going to open up command prompt. So how you get command prompt is open up your search CMD. Here's command prompt. And we're going to pull it over here and we're going to have this one open. So now I'm going to press enter a couple of times just so that you can see what's happening. Now this screen can be a little intimidating at times. It's just, this is just windows, but without all of the fancy graphics. So we're going to type CD. CD is change directory. And we're going to type desktop. Press enter and it now has C users Zanzi desktop. We're looking for a file in desktop. 
and we want to use a Python command, so P-Y-T-H-O-N. Before we do that, you have to actually go to the store, Microsoft Store, and type in Python. I forgot you need to actually install Python before you can use Python. So I'll just wait for this. Type P-Y-T-H-O-N. This will open this up for you. 3.11 is the one you want. Click on it, and here where my cursor is, there'll be an option to download. I've already done it, so it's already installed for me. So now you have it over here, python.code.py. So it's Python, because you're telling it to execute a Python script, and then the, the name of the script, which in my instance is code.py. So we press enter. Why hasn't it? So P O P Y T H O N. I spelt that wrong. There we go. So now it's executed that and it's changed all these names. And I notice how the original was, it's renamed that to that. But let's look over here. This happened at a blink of an eye where that's already changed it to 421. That's immediately just changed everything. That could have been half an hour and command prompt just went, yeah, yeah, hold on, I'll do that. I'm done. You didn't even notice me doing it. But the thing we need to do now is the XML still has all the old file names. So if you open up edit, you'll notice all of these are the same. I'm going to show you because there's a bit of code that can automate this as well. You're going to need to download a program called FMXML. I'm going to include a link in the description because I don't trust your Googling. You're here for tutorials. Let me do it all for you. I have it pinned here, so I'm just going to open it. So what you want to do is make config.xml. These are kits, so click kit. And the options will be all file names or IDs. Now go up to browse and just go to wherever your file names are. So for me, it's in the standard directory, which is documents, sports interactive, football manager 2013, graphics, and then I have it Ireland, Ireland reimagined, kits, kits, home, click OK, and then all ID, they are kits, make config, then go, go. click yes, added. <laughs> what a difference it makes when you go open. And these are all update. All the way down, 544. There you go, Bob's your uncle. That is, it is as simple as that. It, honest to God, is as simple as that. So, uh, actually, just want to double check. Edit, kit home, that's fine, yeah. So then we go back over here. And again, all of these have nothing set. We go FM, preferences, reload skin. And now we just wait to see if I've done this correctly. <laughs> There you go. That took me seven minutes and every single home kit is updated. Use AI, use chat GPT, whatever it's called. Use it to automate your menial mindless tasks and you'll find yourself having so much time to do other things. Um, if I think of any more little hacks for editing and just how to get all this stuff done faster, I'll definitely come back to you. But in the meantime, have a good one, lads.